Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? That'd be a good comeback for me. Anyway, I'm excited to be back. I can't remember the last time I filmed and I had a really good video idea and it was working and I got all this stuff and none of it fit. None of it fit. And it wasn't gonna be a fun video if none of it fit, trust me. So, um, I'm here today though with a Walmart haul and I'll show you some glasses as well because this video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. Thank you, shout out, hey, hi. Um, so I will have an offer for you guys down below in my description box. You can go down there, check it out. And um, anyway, I'm gonna show you some glasses and I'm gonna show you a bunch of stuff that I got at Walmart. I went in store this time because apparently it was decided in the comment section last time that I'm too good to shop in store at Walmart. And not that I ordered online because it's easier for me to get the links for you guys to actually purchase the things that I show in case you would actually want them. It tends to be a little bit more difficult when I go into stores to buy stuff a lot of times. I can't find it online. <laughs> Let me get my intellectual on right now. Hi, thank you. If you're not familiar with GlassesUSA.com, hello. I gotta start getting the ones that, um, what is it called when you can't, non-reflective? Is that what it's called? I'm a little cheapy and I usually buy inexpensive glasses. Um, I have some really expensive ones and I really clung to them throughout my life, but like at Glasses USA, you can get, basically you can get like basic frames and lenses starting at 30 bucks, which is really good. They have like a money back guarantee, so you can shop and go online. And actually they have this tool like on the website you can go onto the website, I'll show you here. You can go onto the website, you can upload a picture of yourself. I like to do it when I don't have makeup on usually, but you can upload a picture of yourself and you can like virtually try on a bunch of different uh, frames. So I usually do that when I'm ordering. Um, it helps, I would say it helps quite a bit, especially with sizing, because I feel like I have a bigger head, but my old glasses actually got too big on me, so I don't know if the glasses got loose, if my head got a little smaller. I don't think your head can get smaller, right? That'd be weird. I don't think your head shrinks, but I don't know. But, um, or whatever. So I decided to order some new stuff. But they do have money back guarantee, so if you get the glasses, you don't like them or whatever, then within 14 days you can actually send them back. You get a refund or, you know, do whatever it is you gotta do. They also have a 365 day guarantee on them as well. Uh, they have something like, I think, 4,000 or so frames on there. And they have like really inexpensive in-house brands and then, which I think I have a few of those. And then they also have um, designer brands. They have Ray-Bans, which I always get Ray-Bans. They have Gucci, they have Armani, and they have Oakley. They have a ton. They also have a new, I assume it's new, um, like a new collaboration or whatever, which is with Hilary Duff. Shout out Hilary Duff. Where you been, girl? She's probably been out, I don't know. But I used to love me some Hilary Duff, some Lizzie McGuire. What's up, girl? I used to love that when I was younger. Um, anyway, she has a collaboration with Muse? What's it called? I'm gonna get this all wrong. It says Muse and Hilary Duff, so. She has some dope frames. I'm in love with the stuff that she designed. So I got one pair of hers, and then I got a new pair of like basic ones that I can wear every day, which are these right here. I'm a big fan of this particular style. Um, I just think it flatters my face, and they're simple and whatever. I like them. I wasn't a glasses wearer growing up, but my sister was and like my brother was, and they pretty much had one pair that they wore all the time because glasses were so expensive and it was like such an ordeal for my mom to get her hands on a pair of glasses for the kids or whatever. So as an adult, I thought like everybody only had one pair, but if they're this cheap, then why not get a few different pairs? Like it's something you gotta put on your face every day. I change my outfit every day. Why don't I change my glasses every day? Probably not every day, but you know, you get what I'm saying. Now these ones kind of make me feel like my sister for some reason. She doesn't wear anything like this now. Or maybe it's my mom. Who do I feel like with these glasses on right now? Like who? I'm not sure. My mom has like a fancy pants prescription. You know, she needs like a lot of things in her lenses. Um, and I actually got her on Glasses USA too because you can get all those fancy prescriptions that you need. Like mine's pretty basic, um, but you can get the bifocals. You can get, you can get pretty much whatever you need. Anything you could get like a regular glasses store you can get on glassesusa.com which is nice. These I thought were cute because they had like some different colors going on with them. I feel like I would wear this with like a bun like if I had my hair up and I just wanted big frames you know. These are <laughs> real cute. And then of course I picked up some sunglasses. I have one more fun little vacation for this year. I'm turning 30 next month. Yay! So I'm actually doing something kind of low-key for me. Um, and we are going out of town though so I wanted to have some uh, new glasses. I thought these were kind of cute. 
I'm not sure though. Like I never know with colors. I just never know. I have to have that color on or something. But these are cool and they kind of tint the outside. Like everything looks kind of yellow and orange right now. I also got another pair of Ray-Bans and I almost always get Wayfarers or Clubmasters. Those are my absolute favorites. Oh, those are my favorites. I'm getting like really dry skin so you know it's getting cold out. Um, but this time I picked up this pair which I thought were like a little more stunner shade, you know? But then I'm like, are they big enough to be stunner shades or are these just, can they, I mean where'd my eyebrows go? Are my eyebrows here? Are they available in this scenario? No. Oh, there they are, there they are. I feel like I'm about to get on a motorcycle and like go mess up somebody's day right now, but I like Ray-Bans because they work. Ray-Bans are like serious for me. I have to have glasses that actually um, block out the sun. It's not a game, we don't play around. My eyes are incredibly sensitive. In the winter time, it is terrible with all of the snow reflecting the sun, and then it's bright in every single direction. It is like torture trying to drive. Um, and if I ever forget my glasses, why well, I have so many. If I ever forget my sunglasses, it is seriously torture to drive because I have to have my eyes open and it is like excruciating how damn sensitive my eyes are to light and to the sun. Okay, finally, let's check out these little Muse ones. These are so, guys, these are so cute. Like don't, they're so cute. So it comes with like this little pack of like stickers. Hi, that's adorable. The kids will like those. Um, comes with a pack of stickers and then it's, you know, little Hillary Duff thing. I'll probably go back and order these ones. They're called Zora. They're so damn cute, but I wanted to try something different because I tend to, you know, I'm a creature of habit. I tend to pick the same stuff all the time. So these are dope because, my friend, they're the double ones. The ones where you pop on the sunglasses and you pop them off in the regular glasses. I thought they were really cute as sunglasses, but, but, what I was really excited about though is the fact that you can pop off the sunglasses and then you have just these like adorable little clear frame. I, I don't know what it is. I'm super in love with these. I think I was, I was watching TV the other day and I saw somebody with clear frames and I was like, oh, <laughs> I need clear frames because I don't have any and these are hella cute. I love it. I feel like the, the whole glare that we have happening doesn't serve the stuff justice, but um, hi, how cute are we? <laughs> anyway, if you want to check out Glasses USA and you want to pick up any of these frames, I'll have them all down in the description box. Like I said, there'll be a nice little offer for you down there too. And they're pretty inexpensive. I mean, they have a huge, huge, huge variety too. So, um, shout out to them for sponsoring this video. I appreciate it because now you can get onto the stuff that I had to pay a bunch of money for because it's not sponsored. JK, I shopped at Walmart, so I didn't spend that much money. Um, I bought a crazy amount of stuff and I spent about $230. And when I was in the store, I was like, okay, only get things that look like you could potentially buy them at like American Eagle or Torrid or like Hollister or something. So I bought stuff that I felt like I could have found somewhere else. Is the quality the same? No, duh, of course not. It's not the same um, for the most part, but can I kind of get away with wearing it? And it's a cute little outfit for, you know, $32. <gasps> yes. Okay, hopefully you're less crooked. So I got this sweater, which I have one very similar, and I got it from Target last year. It goes down pretty far. It covers the butt for the most part, so you could wear it with leggings pretty easily. I got this one in a large, and it's the Time and True brand, large 1214. It was $16.94. Um, the sizes vary greatly, so I got stuff from like the juniors side, and then I got stuff from like the women's and then the plus side, um, and this was from the women's side, so, right? I'm almost positive it was. So, I got it in a large, and it fits beautifully, it's a stretchier kind of material, it hangs nice, it's, it's a great sweater. I have no complaints whatsoever. Alright, next, <laughs> complaint time. So, I also, um, this is just mine the shirt. <laughs> I also bought these jeans. So I got these from the Time and True once again and these are the super skinny jeans and I got them in a size 18. These I got in a petite just to give it a shot. I'm 5'4 like I've mentioned many times. Um, so sometimes petite just makes it hit right at the ankle which is really nice when I'm wearing boots or booties especially. Um, so these are snug as a bug in a rug honey. They are so tight. They do have functioning pockets front and back. I mean how does it make it look? Not my worst, not my best, right? But um, they're pretty basic otherwise. The problem I have with these jeans is that they are, they're not stretchy enough, basically. Um, that's why they don't feel so good. I feel very like restricted in this area, like restricted, constricted. Um, they're just hella tight, okay? And I don't wear a 20 
typically. So if I sized up, I feel like those would definitely be too big, but I'm in a pretty true 16, 18 right now. Some 16s are too small. Um, a fair amount of my 18s that I have now are too big. So I'm like, I'm in a 16 range. So for 18s to be tight on me, and to me, that means that they definitely run small. Uh, but don't be discouraged because I did find another pair that were really great. These are a high rise. Um, no, are they a high rise? I think maybe these were a mid rise and that is where the problem came. So if you guys have any suggestions on where to get really good jeans from Walmart, like which ones to buy, drop that down below because I had a hard time kind of finding one that I thought looked good. Okay, this is something very similar to um, what I got at Torrid just the other day. I think it was in maybe my last video or one of my last videos. Uh, it's basically just this oversized like wrap kind of thing. Um, it is a one size fits all. It was just shy of $15. I found it over by the uh, like accessories and stuff like the sunglasses and the cold weather accessories. They do have some cute like hats and scarves there. Um, so I found it in that area and I just, I thought it was cute. I like stuff like this um, in the winter time, especially with like a pair of tall black boots or something. I got a new tripod and now I just feel like you're crooked all the time. The material's kind of on the thinner side, but I mean, I think it would serve its purpose. This is not for when it's freezing outside, obviously, but it's cute. It would, you know, if you wanted to kind of um, warm it up a little bit, I would say wear like a turtleneck, long sleeve, something like that um, underneath it. But hey, not bad. Covers the whole booty too, so you can wear it with leggings. So this shirt is in a 3XL. Well, no, it's in an XXX. L. Yeah, it's a 3XL. I thought this was going to be a little bit longer than it is. I got this out of the junior size, which is why I got it in a size 21, which is... Uh, uh, junior sizing is so weird. But anyway, this is from No Boundaries and it was $12.88. It is very thin, very, very thin. You can definitely see the tank underneath. Um, but I kind of think that was the idea. So it has this cool little cowl neck kind of thing going on on top and then it has this knot here in the front. And like I said, I thought it was gonna be longer. It is a three quarters uh, length sleeve and pretty much everything I'm showing you had other color options. So I will be doing my best to link it down below. But um, anyway, this doesn't look bad with a shirt under it though like without the shirt it really hits me at a bizarre kind of spot like um not quite a crop not quite full length not quite for me but when I actually have a shirt underneath it I don't mind it, it looks fine and in the back it's just a little bit longer um not not bad like I said it's really really lightweight this is a good like for transitioning into the cooler um, months where you're not quite ready for that full like thick knit, uh, but at the same time having sleeves and little burgundy color. So this is a cute little thermal, okay? I wish I would have went up one more size. I did pick it up and I like pulled it out and I was like, these look a little small. Um, I would say they run a bit small because this is a 2XL and this is from the Time and True brand again. This was on the women's side and it was $7.96, but it does, to its credit, it does say that it is slim fitted. Um, but with my thermals and my Henleys, which this is like half Henley, half thermal kind of thing, um, or a little bit of, I guess it's both technically, right? A Henley is just when it has the buttons, right? Or is that also the type of material that it is? I don't think so. I think it's when it has the buttons. And thermals like the actual, okay, anyway. So um, it looked a little slim and with mine typically, I like them to be a little bit loose. So I don't think it looks bad, but I could see myself doing this a lot throughout the day. So I would probably size up to a 3X um, because this is just not quite my style. But like I said, it feels fine. I mean, feels like any other thermal pretty much that I have, just not quite as uh, loose. And I usually wear like an XL from Old Navy, which is where I tend to get my thermals. I usually wear like an XL from Old Navy in my thermals just because they tend to run a little bit bigger. I usually would do like a double XL from Target. So this one, I would need a triple XL. So if you're used to buying it from either one of those two places, just be advised, you are probably gonna have to size up. But they had lots of different colors. I thought it was really cute, very, you know, folly. And then we have the pants. These are exciting, I'm excited. So these pants are the same brand as the last ones. They are that time and true again. And the difference in these ones is that these are the high rise skinny. And again, they're in an 18, but they're not in a petite this time. Um, and they fit me really, really well at the ankle, like perfect length for me. The other ones were fine too, but a little bit shorter, obviously. Um, the other ones were the super skinnies and those were super uncomfortable. So these ones fit like a pair of American Eagle jeans. I mean, they have a nice high rise on them. It's a true high rise without being a 
Fashion Nova up to your brawl rise. Speaking of which, if you want to see another Fashion Nova haul, <laughs> you're in luck because it's coming. <laughs> but anyway, um, again, they have real pockets. They're not very deep. This is as far as it goes, but whatever. They're there, right? And then you have the booty pockets. I think my butt looks just just dandy in this. These are comparable to like my American Eagle pants. Now, are they going to last as long? Are they going to pill in the crotch area? I don't know. Well, not the crotch, but like the inner thigh. I don't know, you know, because I haven't been wearing them or whatever, but they're very comfortable. They have a cute, you know, fit and wash and everything else. Um, so, hey, for what was it, 20 bucks? $16.87, worth a shot. I'm gonna start this next one off with this little cami. This was only a dollar and 68 cents. Scoop neck fitted cami. Got it in an XL, a dollar. And they had a bunch of different uh, types. It's very thin or whatever, but who cares? It's a dollar. So um, I got this in an XXL. This is no boundaries. And so again, from the junior side, they have lots of different colors. They have lots of different uh, sweaters and stuff like this. I got this one specifically because I have one very similar to it from Target and I kind of wanted to see how it matches up. Um, it's very similar. The Target one tends, it's a little bit thicker. But uh, like I said, there's a time and a place for thinner sweaters. It's a nice length. It has cute little um, cross stitching, not cross stitch, but like, what is this called? It's not a stitch. It's like a, a lace up. It has cute little lace up pattern on uh, both sides. And it also has a hood, which I thought was really cool. It's pretty long, so it covers the butt. Um, no buttons or anything like that, but it does have some functional pockets in the front if you're interested. And like I said, it's got a little, it's got a little hood. This is so cute. How much was this? This one was $14.92. Again, like I said, no boundaries brand. I did have a couple duds, um, and I'll run through them just real quick because I don't really want to focus on that. So this is from Avia. It's an XL. This was actually a cropped hoodie. It was on clearance for, um, or was it sale? Do they have sale? I think it was on clearance. It's got a little yellow sticker on it, um, but it was still like the front of the clothing area, so I'm not sure. But it was only nine bucks, and it's only a dud because it looks terrible. <laughs> it's no fault of the garment itself outside of the fact that um, who looks good in this? I don't know, but not SV, that's for sure. And then, unfortunately, this one, which is in an XL, this is from like the junior side again. Um, and this was a little bit more expensive just because it's licensed. $13.88, <laughs> steep. Um, it's a size 15 to 17. Again, it's from the junior side, so they have um, odd number sizing. And this is a Harry Potter shirt, in case you haven't already gathered that. The only reason, see, maybe it's not, see, it doesn't look so bad. Right? This looks fine, doesn't it? It looks like it fits, basically. Um, it looks okay. It's not terrible. Um, they do have a lot of, like, different license tees and stuff like that there. And I picked this up, and they have a bunch of tanks, too. And I think they're on sale, actually, if you're interested. But um, I picked this up because I love Harry Potter. My daughter loves Harry Potter. Finally! Stay tuned for her Halloween costume. It's a doozy. Um, but anyway, uh, the downside is these stripes here because they actually... They're not printed on, they're actually sewn on. It's much tighter here, and it's like, I feel like something is around my arms, and for me personally, I know I cannot handle that. It will bother the crap out of me the whole time that I have the shirt on. So, if it was like, you know, a short sleeve, or maybe just a size bigger. A size bigger, I'd probably be okay. So, other than that, I mean, a Harry Potter shirt for 13 bucks? where they do that at? <laughs> Walmart. I just thought this was worth showing. They have really good basics at Walmart, like really basic, you know, plain colors of tees and stuff like that. So this is a semi-fitted, I guess this is an XXL, the Time and True brand again. This was $8.88. Um, it was right by where the camis were. And it's just a good long sleeve tee. Like it's just a V-neck. I think they might have had scoop neck too. They have lots of different colors, but I don't have very much white stuff. So I picked up a white one and it is very see-through as you can tell. So just wear this with their very see-through cami and you know, for 10 bucks together, you get a nice little thing happening up here. All right, I have one last top before I pop these jeans off. Um, this one I found over by the pajamas. So it's, I don't know, is it considered pajama? I don't know, whatever. Live your life, wear it however you want. But it's just like this super like oversized. I had something else that was oversized. Where is it? I must have left in the other room. That's okay. It probably doesn't need to be included. Um, it's just like this. Oh, it was this. <laughs> just like this oversized kind of almost like bat wing kind of uh, hoodie. 
because the seam doesn't really start until like the middle of my arm over here. Fits really nicely. Uh, these are not buttons or anything. This is just play around. You can't actually open it. But the hood is real and the price isn't. $11.86 and I got this in an XL. This is the Secret Treasures Sleepwear. So like I said, it says sleep, but I mean, I'm gonna do whatever I want. Okay, so this gave me some airy vibes. That's why I picked it up. I actually wanted to do this video with um, bra and panties from Walmart as well, but I didn't think of that until the end and I was kind of running out of time and I was struggling to find my size in the double push-up add 19 cup sizes like bras. So anyway, I ended up picking up this bralette and I, this is poor planning because the next thing that I'm gonna show you needs this bra that I have on, so I didn't take it off. But um, not the greatest bralette, that's for sure. This is a 3X, which fits me okay. It's low on the sides though, so like I do have a little long half hanging out on the sides. And then, you know, it's struggling to keep us in in the back a little bit, a little bit. Not my best, not my worst. Um, but it was really inexpensive. I just cannot figure out how much it was because it doesn't say it on the tag, unfortunately. But I want to say it was like 6 or $7 or so. But like I said, I had to get it in a 3X. Um, but these joggers, I mean, the joggers I immediately had to pick up. And I think I got them, I got them in an XL. Uh, 16, 18, so they are women's sizes, and they're just called the Soft Joggers 1296. They have them in lots of different colors. Of course, they got the burgundy ones, and they're super stretchy, really nice. Like they feel very soft, almost like a, almost like a fleece kind of. Um, they feel really soft. They are pretty basic. I mean, tight at the bottom. And I like them. I have a very, very, very similar pair from Airy, and they were like 40 bucks. Maybe I had a sale, like coupon or something. Um, so maybe I got them for like 25 bucks or whatever, but still, these are only 12 and they have them in lots of colors. They're very comfortable. I'm definitely gonna go back and get another pair. I think maybe the black or the gray ones. But anyway, I just, I live in these right now, especially like for the walks to the bus stop in the morning. Mommy is not ready for jeans at that time in the morning. But um, one more outfit. One more little quickie before I share the last outfit actually. This is No Boundaries again. I got it in a 3X. It was $9.92. Wasn't sure if it was supposed to be a shirt or a dress on the hanger, um, which is why I opted for the 3X because I was like, okay, if it's supposed to be a dress, definitely get the biggest size that they offer. And that's, I think, as big as you can go on the um, junior side. So it's cute, right? With like some little suede like thigh high boots. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that other video was gonna be. It was gonna be thigh high wide calf boots and <laughs> those calves were not wide enough. So um, really basic, just a little bit of detail on the back here, a little cross. Um, pretty thin though, so be careful. I would definitely wear something underneath that, even the leggings. Um, I did pick up a couple of pairs by Tara and Sky. These are plus size fleece lined leggings mid-rise. They came on a little hanger with the tag wrapped around and stapled on and she, for some reason she took the hanger um I, you know i get it when it's a regular hanger but yeah anyway um i would probably wear it with like a pair of these leggings i picked these up because they have a bunch of them in two packs and they look nice and warm and stuff but i would wear some spanks or something and some thigh high boots and call it an outfit Ooh, or maybe buy one of those um big cardigans that they have too like this is a really inexpensive outfit. I mean, you can definitely get some cute stuff at Walmart on the low low. And finally, something that's a little bit more work appropriate, I think. I don't know. I mean, I haven't had a regular drive in a long time. So, um, this bodysuit. Hi, Walmart with a bodysuit, okay? It was only $9.92. This is no boundaries. I got this one in a 2X. And dare I say I could have done a 1X because it's got plenty of space on here. It's like really nice, actually. The length, it's got plenty of room. Sometimes the bodysuits, if you end up bending over, it'll pop, which sucks, but <laughs> whatever. Um, I wanted to do this with a skater skirt. I thought it would be so cute, but I couldn't find one. So I ended up getting these pants, and these I found on the women's side. Um, the women's side has a bunch of like work pants and lots of different prints, and they fit really nicely. So these I actually got in an XL. I believe these are that Tara and Sky brand. Am I tripping? Oh. Oh no, ah, I got a cramp. These are that Time and True brand. I got them in an XL. They were just shy of $16. Um, they fit really nicely. They're not a high rise, but I think they're kind of flattering as a mid rise actually, right? I mean, they don't look bad. There's no pockets or anything. There's a seam going down the front. They are basically right down to my ankle, maybe like an inch, you know, of like leeway down there. Give, I don't know. And then there's a little zipper in the back. I don't know, overall 
I just thought this was a really cute outfit. I'm digging it. Hi, look at me, ready to go to work. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you want to see, I guess, anything else from Walmart. Maybe I can, initially my idea was to do full outfits with shoes, bag accessories, jacket, hat, scarf, gloves, whatever. Like, I was gonna do full, full, full um, outfits, but I wasn't sure if that was too much, if you guys really wanted to see all that. Um, or if you wanted a general kind of overview of everything. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll do my best to link all this stuff down below. Again, don't forget you can check out glassesusa.com and again, thanks to them for sponsoring this video and you can go down to my description box, you'll see links for all the glasses that I showed. Also, there's a special offer down there for you guys so you can click the link and um, go ahead and take advantage of that. But I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed filming it, it felt like it took forever but <laughs> The power of editing will make it seem a lot less long to you guys. So um, anyway, I miss you guys and I'm glad to be back. I'll have more videos coming this week. So make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.